guys welcome welcome back to my channel i'm tit if you're new and welcome back to another vlog okay guys so i just finished getting my hair did uh i'll link i'll link um all of the hairstylist um information down below she was so sweet and she even gave me a head massage a head massage I've never gotten a head massage before I got my wig installed before ever in my life. But I am hosting an event this weekend. I kind of wanted to take you guys with me. So I just did my hair. Now we got to go get my nails done. Um, I need to go to the dress makers to pick up my outfit. And my makeup's not going to be done until the day of, so not that. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to take you guys with me through the process. You guys to see what it's look giving. Sorry, so you guys to see what it's looking like and what it's giving when um, I have a hosting. But I don't know if this is if this vlog is just gonna be only about hosting because I have a couple of other things that I'm also doing this weekend. I wanted to vlog. My cousin is doing a like a teaching class, like a, a riding teaching class. And when I say riding, I mean riding teaching class. <laughs> And I kind of wanted to uh, film that process as well. So I guess we could just say that this is just a regular vlog. And you're just going to be seeing how I'm... You're just going to be seeing, like, how I get myself together. Sorry, it's really cold. Um, so now I just finished my hair. I just I just finished my hair and so now we are off to nails so I will come back once I get there and it's been such a long time since I've got my nails done I've really been trying to thug it out and trying to just hustle 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 grind 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 and I said I'm not getting my nails done until like I hit a certain like milestone or until I hit a certain goal and I passed that those goals like that was like three goals ago and I've been like putting it off saying, okay, I'm not getting them done until I hit this. I'm not getting them done until I hit that. And anybody that knows me in my real life, I get my nails done every week or every other week maximum. Two weeks doesn't go by that I do not get my nails done ever. I cannot remember the last time that I've gone a month, three weeks without doing my nails. And as of right now, it's been almost two months. Can you imagine? almost two months look at this uh, hold on. like what all of them they've all broken they have little remnants of shellac on them and then they're they look kind of stained so my nails aren't dirty it's stained with red because uh, i had to wash my wig before i put it on and obviously it ran onto my fingers but i'm so excited to be getting my nails and my eyebrows done oh my god oh my god i love 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 getting a pedicure like it's almost one of my favorite things to do ever and it's only almost one of my favorite things to do because i love when they give me a foot massage <laughs> absolutely love a good foot massage wink wink nudge nudge but yeah so i am going to head to nail store and i'll be back once i'm finished or not once i'm finished but once i get there I actually didn't even make an appointment. Let me call and hope and pray that um, Christina is going to be available. Because if not, I can't get my nails done because I only get them done by Christina. Hello? Hi. Um, can I book an appointment to see Christina today at 6 o'clock? Pardon? Yep. Okay. Alright, thank you. My girl is available as per usual. I don't know if I just always get her at the right time or like, I don't know. But, whatever. So, I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, so I just got into the nail salon. It's not as busy as I was expecting it to be, so it's a little bit awkward being on the camera. 
but I just wanted to keep you um, I just wanted to keep you guys updated. I'm about to start my soaking my feet. So I'm gonna do a mani pedi. I think I'm gonna do French tip on both. But I'm not 100 percent sure yet. Because I need something that's gonna last. So I'm gonna be going to Jamaica next week. But yeah, so whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna keep you updated and I'll just show you the process instead of speaking to you throughout the process, okay? Because it's a little scarce in here and people are kind of giving me the ah, okay? How are you? It's not on you, it's on me. Oh, yes. it's on me. <laughs> Pardon? Yeah. It's for a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna get started now. I'm gonna start soaking and then I'll be back. Or I'll just show you guys the process. Yes, please. You remember? <laughs> Okay guys, so I just finished my feet and I'm about to get my hands started. I just want to give you a before and after. Hold on. What's the camera looking like? I just want to give you guys a before and after of what my hands look like. So here goes before. You know, it's looking absolutely atrocious. And I will be back with the after. Okay guys, so I just finished and it's so dark outside. You guys know what it's... Um, the time going back or whatnot the it gets dark so quick literally at like three o'clock it gets dark and it's 7 43 right now so just imagine 7 43 p.m but i just wanted to show you my nails real quick because i know once i get into the car it's gonna be like pitch black in there so mm -hmm. this is the after doesn't it look perfect doesn't it look absolutely perfect sorry <laughs> But yeah, um, I was going to go to my dressmakers after this, but he's running a little behind, so I'm probably going to have to go tomorrow. Not probably, I am 100% going to have to go tomorrow, so I'll show you guys what that's giving tomorrow. I'm pretty much just going to go to fit it, try it on, make any last minute adjustments, and then um, I like take it, because uh, my hosting is on Sunday, and tomorrow Saturday. So I think I'll come back when I'm at home, but if I don't for some reason, then I will definitely see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I just pulled up to my cousin's ride cl class. Let me see exactly what it's called, hold on. Ride and go freak. We're about to be learning how to ride. <laughs> I have Kayla in the back. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> We're about to be learning how to ride. We're about to be incre um, what's it called? Improving our riding skills. And so I'm gonna be taking you guys inside with me. I just want to let you guys know because yesterday I knew I said I was gonna come back and uh, show you guys what I was doing at home, but I got a little tired. So we're about to head in right now, and I'll see you in a bit. I wanted to thank everybody, everybody for coming out to the first ride go free. It really means a lot to me that all of you came here to pour into me and believe in me. A lot of you guys have been here from the beginning. Some of us are new um, and I appreciate the support from no matter which side of the event you're on. So let's cheers to a fun educational night. Cheers. cheers.
mom did not press <laughs> how low this can go. For what? Because, okay, so this is like. Yeah, we have to remember something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, so we're finished our sex education class. How'd you like it? It's good. Learn the couple. Um, how does it feel to first class? And what did you learn about it if you have any other questions? Like, um, learn for the next time. Or do you think start, it? continue, stop. <laughs> not you, not you. The class. You're out. You're out. You're out. Her now. Her now. Okay. It feels great. Honestly, it feels like a privilege to be able to be in this space with women, teaching them about their bodies, teaching them about pleasure and how important it is for them to experience pleasure in their sexual lives. Um, I think it was amazing. The participation was great. The People that were involved were very honest and transparent in their experiences, and I think that really built the class and made it what it was. So I really feel like it was an honor, my honor and privilege to be in this space and sharing, hearing their stories and helping them improve their lives, their sex lives. And what's next for the future? What do you have coming up? Uh, more Radical Freaks, some throat boat classes. That's not the name of the class yet, we don't know, but. <laughs> Um, teaching women to feel confident when it comes to giving head. I feel like riding and giving head are the top two that often women say that they don't feel confident with. So, hoping to instill that confidence in more women. What about anything for men? Anything for men at all? I'm hoping to do couples. Right now, my big thing is learning, women learning to put their pleasure as a priority. So, my main focus right now is building women up and building their confidence up, um, and particularly black women. So, right now, men. They're on the back burner unless they're coming in as a couple. So to increase the couple's sexual experience. Where can we find you? Where can you find out for everything? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at sexplicit.claudi. Um, there are hopefully more interviews to come, but also right now focus on my classes, focus on providing sessions for clients. And yeah, I'm looking forward to connecting with you. So over back I am the queen in the pack. Ah, nothing hits like that old school 90s dance already for me. It's Patra for me. <laughs> But um, obviously you guys can tell this is another day. Today's the day of my hosting. So I am excited. We're gonna have a great day today. I'm on my way to go, even though it's raining, the weather is not really saying great, but um, we're just we're just gonna make the best of it. Weather-wise, sorry, this is like my, can you guys see this? My um, edge, edge, what is this called? That band that you put around your edges, I just, folded it up because um, I'm about to get my makeup done so first I'm gonna we're going to pick up my dress because I didn't get it yesterday after my cousin's writing class was too late so we're gonna stop there to get my dress and then we're gonna go to my makeup appointment and they're not far from each other they're probably like five minutes so that's great for me I love that for me but I just wanted to come I was gonna say introduce a vlog but I'm in the middle of one so introduce the day let you guys know today's hosting day i'm gonna try to get as much footage as i possibly can i know i always say i'm gonna try to get footage and like it's very limited but i'm really gonna try it's just so hard because this camera is so big like it's not something i can bring to bring with me out to like a party or something like it's just so obvious and then i start getting stressed and worried about it. is somebody gonna steal it when i put it down like and I don't want to hold it the entire time. So I'm going to try my best to get as much footage as I can so that I can incorporate it into this vlog. But if not, you can always head over to my Instagram at fashionablytia and all the footage will be there. All the footage will be there. But um, yeah, girl. Oh my God. So yesterday I filmed a story time. Um, should I say what the name of the story time is? Yeah, I filmed a story time yesterday of um, pulling up, the time I pulled up on the side chick. That story time is so juicy. <laughs> it is so juicy. And um, I was, so what I do 
like when I film when I film I film and then I upload all the stuff to my computer even if I'm not editing it in that moment and so after I was filming I uploaded it all the clips to my computer um and so I was just skimming through it briefly why do I look like a fat potato like a fat sack of potato like I don't understand it like, why do I have such an unhealthy relationship with food? <laughs> why? Why? I'm such an emotional eater. Like, I could be doing good for... First, I'm going to point out that your body does not work the same in your 30s as it does in your 20s. Well, I wouldn't know because this really started happening to me after I had my son like my body like I just was so stressed out and like my eating habits became so unhealthy but before that point I was good I could have eaten the entire Canada like I could have eaten the entire restaurant and I would have been good like nothing but now I eat a grain of rice and I gain like 20 pounds but also for me, like when I like find my groove and I'm going down like the healthy path um, where food is, is concerned, it literally just takes one thing to trigger me and everything is undone. I can have three good weeks, I'll have one bad day and then I'm done. Cause it's just like, it starts off so small and then I just can't help myself. Like I just can't say no. And then I end up putting on 10 pounds in like one week. I don't know like I don't know I think I need to go see a therapist or something cuz like I have such an unhealthy relationship with food it's crazy but um I see why am I saying all this oh yeah because I was looking at my clips and I look like one round piece of potato and I'm just like oh my god should I even upload this video <laughs> should I just film it again should I change my outfit and film it again cuz it wasn't even like a planned thing I just said okay I'm gonna try and see how like story times do on my channel and I don't want to be a story time channel but I have some juicy stories you know what I mean and I really feel like other people can benefit from them so I don't know I, ultimately I'm probably just gonna post it because I am who I am I look how I look accept me or don't accept me period I'm working on me I'm a work in progress I already know that so I'm probably just gonna post it but I just needed to come and rant and complain a little bit about about looking like a potato god god but um i'm gonna go focus on the road um because it's raining so this is not very safe so i'm gonna go focus on the road and then i will be back when i get to my dressmakers hopefully hopefully it's not too crowded in there because if it's too crowded i don't want to pull out the camera I don't know like who's comfortable from who's not comfortable with like being on camera or like whatever I don't know people are just weird sometimes and I just want to be respectful of everybody's space so hopefully I can get some footage in from when I'm at the dressmakers if not I'll 100% be back right before I get my makeup done to give you like a before and after kind of thing I should be doing a real Actually, Ugh, I did not plan it out properly, but it's okay. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, so I am at Jigga's. I just finished trying on my dress. I inserted a clip so you guys could see what it looks like. He's just adding a couple last minute adjustments and then we are off to do makeup. I'm running a little behind, but we're gonna get it together. And then I'll come back, I'll show you before and after makeup and then I'll show you once I'm finished getting dressed, how I look. See you soon. Okay, so I am about to walk into Angel's um, office building structure kind of thing. I really hope the rain stops because I don't know. I'm gonna 
it's raining, I know that I don't really care to leave my house, so. Let me actually call her. Okay, so we are back at makeup. Here goes Angel. You guys already know her. Hi, guys. Enjoy your beauty in the building. Back. My baby's back. We're going to give her a beautiful glam. I'm so excited. I love working on her face. Facts. Let's get to it, period. Facts. <laughs> so I just want to come. Oh, and obviously Kayla's over there. <laughs> I can't get rid of Kayla, guys. <laughs> I can't get rid of her. But no, um, yeah, so this is the before. And just wait till you see the after, okay? <sighs> and we are finished. Get into the eyes. Literally, my sis never fails. Look at this. This is giving host. This is giving host. Yes. It's always yes. giving host, but this is giving host. Love it. No, it's gonna go with my hair, and you guys already see what my dress looks like, or partially of what my dress looks like. Ugh, yes. No, sis, it's giving what it needs to give. No, this is this is this is it. Sis, this is it stuff. It's giving what it needs to give. <sighs> yes, and he's just fixed my hair, bring it out. Mhm. Mm Ah, come say bye-bye. Come say bye-bye to my fellow people. <laughs> For your beats, hit up my sis. Yes. Where can they find you? Adoria.beauty on Instagram. Adoria Beauty on Facebook and TikTok and Snapchat and YouTube. Anywhere. <laughs> Literally anywhere. Yes. She's going to take care of you. Always does an amazing job. Yes. Always does an amazing Have job. Have fun tonight, boo. I know, right? But you guys already know that because I already... I always talk about you in my blog. Um, I just got into my dress. I have to put on my gloves and whatnot, but I just wanted to show you guys what it was giving because I probably am not going to get another picture um, before I head out right now because I'm a little late. So hold on. There it goes. And then I'll have on some heels. That's what I'm wearing on my tippy toes like that. This is what it's giving. It's just an all black like leather tube dress with the matching gloves to go with my right hair. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> um, all right, so I just kind of wanted to touch and touch base, let you guys know how things are going. And hopefully I'll be able to get some footage tonight. But this beat though, Adoria Beauty, babe. Adoria Beauty. All right, I'll see. Hey guys, it is the next day. I really tried with the footage, so please, please take it easy on me. I did my best to get as much footage as I can, and I inserted it before this clip, so you should have already seen it. But I am so exhausted right now. My wig is even coming up a little bit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. I definitely had a great time at the event that I hosted. It's, um, an event called Dayflex. The promoter has it three times for the year and all three times this year I hosted. So it was a good time. It was a good time. And this is the only party I went to this year, I think, because the last time I went out was in July, which was because I was hosting that party. And then I feel like the time before that, it was that party too, but earlier on in the year, I can't remember. Anyways, I'm just coming to close out the vlog um tell you guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that or your bell notifications so that you will be notified every single time 
I post a video. <sighs> the struggle was so real today. Like, you don't even understand. I am so tired. I'm supposed to be editing a video. Then this one too. I did a story time. I don't know if I mentioned it early on, but I did a story time about the time that I pulled up on the side chick, which is going to go up before this video. So if you haven't already, don't forget to go check out that story time and let me know what you think. It's a juicy one. It's a juicy one. But, um, oh my God, I look even more pale because of this red hair. That's okay. It's cool. But yeah, guys, so please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.